Please hang up and try again. Hello, welcome back to my channel. This video is about simulations which are not appropriate for internal assessment. We're going to have a look at why some things are not actually going to help you be successful and get high grades and why not. When people start researching their sources for simulations, they probably start in the same place that I did. If you put it into Google, you will find yourself here at the American Chemical Society. They'll give you the virtual chemistry and simulations. The first one we're going to look at are the FET series of simulations. These are much lauded as potentials for internal assessment. I'll be completely honest, I don't see it. So these are fantastic teaching tools and we can look at particles and we can look at concentrations, but we can't actually vary things very readily. And when we can vary things, like in the Beer Lambert Law lab down here, it's in terms of A, B, C, and D, which are not appropriate. If you ever see just letters used for chemicals, that's not appropriate for chemistry internal assessment, which can't help hope to get some research on that, any background on that, or any meaningful conclusions from uh, hypothetical reactants and products. If you found something you think is usable in FET, please tell me, put it in the link below. Thank you. AACT Simulations. This is the American Association of Chemistry Teachers. Um, I've not had a look at all of these. Let's have a quick look. Uh, it might be helpful to see the thought processes as we go into these. So galvanic voltaic cells should be well understood by most students at that, this point in doing their IA. What do we have here? We've got a couple of beakers. Uh, we've got the choice of one, two, three, four. Let's put some zinc in zinc nitrate. Uh, let's on the right hand side, let's put some magnesium in magnesium nitrate. So I'm sure we'll make it try and make a bigger voltage. Let's go silver there. So molarity, let's get, oh, we've got one, two, three, we've got five different molarities. Oh, this is looking pretty good. We've got one molar and we can turn the circuit on, I assume, and we get 3.18 volts. And um, what's nice is I can see the molecular scale. I can see what's happening here. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Giving away a couple of electrons. Oxidizing, that's good. And I hope it's going to be picking up the electrons here. Yes, it is. And then depositing. Beautiful. And what do we see here? We see the ions going through the salt bridge because the electrons go around the outside. Let's turn that off. What was that again? That was 3.18. 3.18. Let's change the concentration. 0 0.1 in that one. And 0 0.1 in that one. What's going to happen? Do you know? Huh? Oh. A slight amount, slight, 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 slight de de decrease. What if I take it down to that one by 10 to the minus three? It is. Oh, it's got that slight. So maybe, maybe there's some IAable stuff in here. So I've got enough, I've got four different uh, electrodes in the electrolyte, and it's going to be the same on this side. Yes, it is. And we've got five different molarities. Okay, maybe that's a start. How could we make that into an IA? We could correlate that potentially with uh, calculating E0 from the data booklet. We could use some delta G. Delta G is minus NFE0. Calculate some delta G. What's the relationship between E0 and delta G? It's kind of well known. Um, I hesitate to say that that's a viable IA. Um, if you can find some way to triangulate it, augment it, so you're going to find these common words that I'm using. So this is the same simulation. We've now got metals in aqueous solutions. Let's have a quick look at this one. It's got 37 favorites, woo! And uh, test several metals with different aqueous solutions. No good, because the more reactive metal will displace the less, and um, that is a great teaching activity. It's not an IA. Understanding SHC, Q equals MC delta T, you're an engineer to build a new home, not appropriate for internal assessment. We're not about building homes. Uh, intermolecular forces, I assume this is going to show me hydrogen bonding, uh, dipole, dipole, and van der Waals. And yes, it is. It's more a video and quiz, which is fine. That's great. It's all very useful. I'm not criticizing these things. I'm saying what's actually going to be useful for an internal assessment. Preparing a solution. No, preparing a solution is not appropriate for internal assessment. Predicting the products. This is going to be displacement again. Most reactive ends up as the ion. Not appropriate for internal assessment. States of matter phase changes. Textbook reaction rates. Um, if we look at this one, I don't think I like this one. <laughs> why do I not like this one? That's why 
it's got letters. A plus B goes to C. You can run the reaction. You can see the amount of products over time. It's a linear relationship. You can select variables, but really, um, A's, B's, and C's, we don't want those in internal assessments. Okay, we want real reactions. Sol solve the stoichiometry. Okay, predict the products Q versus KC. This is A, B, B squared again. That's no good. Measuring volume. There's a quiz. No. Isotopes, atomic mass. No. Half-life investigation. Can we get constant half-life for a first-order reaction? Uh, no, this is to do with radiation, so that's not appropriate for a chemistry internal assessment. Ionic and covalent bonding. No. Textbook. No. Textbook. No. Textbook. Gas laws. These are well served. There are many simulations on FET, and I assume in this one here, Charles Gailasak Boyle's law are well understood. Not appropriate. Not appropriate. Not appropriate. Not appropriate. No, no. So in all of this, the only potential which I can see was the galvanic cells thing, but even then, it's a stretch. The mellow suite of chemistry simulations seem to have some promise within here. Um, there is over a thousand different simulations which are available to us. Thankfully, there is a search tool on the left-hand side, and we just select the things that we want. So we're looking for simulation, 1,417. Uh, the audience we're looking for is, say, College General. And then it will pop up and tell you some of the materials on the Merlot service. So first of all, number one is Chem Collective, which is great. And I've got a separate video on that. Find that on my channel in the Starting Your Internal Assessment playlist. Web Elements is just looking at the periodic table. No. Periodic table live. No. <laughs> Protein Explorer. These things are wonderful teaching tools. Uh, modeling and simulations of different symmetries of molecules are great. Ideal gases again, leave it well alone. Um, virtual chemistry lab for acid base, it's a simulation here by Mikie Wong. Uh, it's created on 2003. You can go to the material, it allows you to click through and leave the Merlot sort of home base, and then sometimes you get that. So that is not uh, appropriate for our internal assessment. There's a lot of dead links on these things. Uh, I find as I'm scanning through. Uh, connecting, we're not doing concept maps. We know what the uh, colors are for qualitative analysis and displacement reactions and all those things. Um, now we have interactive simulations for general chemistry. And if we go to this material, yes, we are happy to leave mellow. I hope that pronunciation is correct. Same as the wine, I assume. Um, and here we have uh, a range of uh, clickable things that we can go into. Um, I've been looking for things, I'm always looking for things just that little bit beyond the syllabus, things like solubility products or be a Lambert law, things that we can easily do and understand as IB chemists, but show our uh, moderator or our examiner as it is now, that we care enough to go a little bit beyond the syllabus. So here we have a uh, solubility products constant KSP, Common ion effect in solubility, pH, KSP, and precipitation reactions. Now, this looks like some fertile ground on which we can explore, but let's have a look and see how many options we have. So, I can change, I've got four different salts. I can change the mass in here between zero and one grams for an insoluble salt. I can do the same for the soluble salt over here, and it's given the concentration of the ions underneath. And it's actually doing the uh, ice table KC expression for me underneath. Perhaps I can use this to calculate solubility products, do a little trial, and this is always the key to a great IA, and always include this in your write-up, do a little trial, look up the actual uh, value online, you'll find KSP for, this is lead chloride, I'm sure you can find it. If it's exactly the same as this, which is likely, because the, the simulation is just trying to recreate reality and depends who programmed it and, and to, with what accuracy they did so. Normally it's quite accurate. If it's exactly the same, probably not very good as an IA. If there's some discrepancy, maybe something to explore for an IA. But I could run all four of these at five different masses and it would take me about half an hour to do that, so it doesn't really pass that magic 10 hour test that we have for the whole curation of your full IA. But some of these things are worthy of further explanation, uh, exploration. Things which are not um, elements, stoichiometry, uh, thermochemistry, if it's, just, if it's just textbook, you're getting the idea here.
just textbook. We're not interested, okay? We are interested to pass our exams, but once pass my IA, that's not good enough. Let's move Welcome on. back. Going down the list, we have looked at Merlo, FET, and ACS and AACT. Chem Collective, separate video in my channel. Go and have a look. Knock yourself out. Mixed Reception, Murder Mystery, don't care. Not for IA. Aspirin Screen Experiment, it will give the same results every time. Not for IA. CK through 12 Simulations, Atomic Mass, Solubility, Rock Candy, Freezing Point Depression with Road Salt. It's in the textbook. You can look it up. We don't want it. Moving on. Titration Screen Experiment, the virtual titration. Wonderful for teaching, not for IA. Drag and drop periodic table, not for IA. Molecular workbench, let's have a quick look at this one. Will it allow me to go through or is it a broken link? It is allowing me to go through. Gas laws, no. We know the answers. We know the answers. No. <laughs> Chem Reacts, a separate video on my channel. Fantastic resource. It's on Chem Libra Texts. I think it's a boon. Separate video. Go and find it. William Vining, Chemistry Simulations. In here, we've already looked at that earlier in the video. Virtual chemistry experiments. We're slaughtering this list today, aren't we? Not private, so I'm not going to use it. I can't use it. And then finally, on this list, ooh, the University of Missouri Rollap. Sorry if I'm pronouncing that incorrectly. Math skills critical for success in IA. Simulated experiments. Ooh, there could be something here. Gas laws, leave it. Cations, leave it. Five bottles. Case of the five droppers, is this a murder mystery that they're going to get us to have a look at? Uh, yes, it is. It's the qualitative test, looks cool, but not for an IA. Coffee cup calorimetry, determination of heat capacity, spectrophotometry, iodine clock. I've put this in a previous video. This iodine clock, I think it's got legs. I think it's got legs. Have a look at it. You can go in the experiments, you can change. Uh, the potassium iodate, three different concentrations. The buffer, three different pHs. Uh, Arsenius uh, acid, whatever it is. Uh, one that's kept the same. Potassium iodide, three. And then temperature, you've got five. Okay. Then you mix them, mix the solutions. And then the video will pop up on the left-hand side. You start it and they will mix together as if by the power of Grayskull. And uh, it will change or de uh, it'll no longer be transparent when the iodine is precipitated and you can stop the timer whenever it uh, goes black. Are you ready? There we go. So you can do that on three repeats and you probably get, if you're struggling for an IA, you probably get one out of that. Okay. That's probably the last chance saloon. Ah! Conductivity of ionic solutions. So conductivity of ionic solutions. There, that's the one. Okay. So these ones in here, you can form any compound. Let's make some ammonium chloride. Okay. I can change one, two, three, four, five temperatures. That's good. And I can go concentration. Let's do it 0 0.2. I'm feeling a bit 0 0.2 mole per decimeter cubed today. Goes into here, nothing happens. If you hit the on button, you get two microsieverts. So what you can do is you can change, yes, yes. Uh, that's ammonium nitrate. So let's have a look at that one. Ammonium chloride, okay. I can change one, two, three, four, five temperatures. That's good. So doing simulations, I used to say, don't do a simulation. Then I found ChemReax. Then I found Chem Collective and a few more, the University of Missouri ones as well. Without paying any money, you can pay money to get simulations, but we really need to have something where we can vary the independent variable. We can do a repeat of the dependent variable and get different results so we can average it. And that, that would be the criteria I've been looking for. It must be real chemicals. And um, I think in there, there are some rich areas for further exploration. Good luck with your internal assessment. Smash it out the park. Don't forget. Subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye. Please hang up and try again.